I'm one of 13 kids. Franny, Peter, Margaret, Helen, Mary, Barbara, Paula. Mary, Barbara, Paula, Charlie, Berta, Johnny, Susie, Karen, Tommy. Somebody would be on the toilet, somebody else would be brushing their teeth. Yeah, dinner table, a lot of stuff going on there. There is a story that has been passed down, embellished, and immortalized within my family for over 40 years. This article is from the Baltimore Sun newspaper. It explains that my grandfather was shot outside of Edmondson High School by three unknown assailants. The night he was shot, he was on his way to a public hearing to protest the building of a road. He was told to give me all your money or whatever, and he thought they were joking, so he kept walking, and when he kept walking, they shot him with a sawed-off shotgun. He was laying on the floor, bleeding. I talked to him, and he told me what happened, but there was no reason for it uh, that, that he knew about. Of course, my first worry was, who shot him? Was it some one of the kids, one of his children? There were a couple shocks. One of them is who the lawyers were for the defendants. That was like shocking to me. It's like, this is not a civil rights issue or anything, you know? After he got killed, they did not stand up for him. And they ran away because they were scared. And they didn't want any more trouble. And that's not right. And I will always resent them for that. This whole issue, it's a big void. It's a big hole in our lives. In terms of who he was, we have big debates. In some ways, I miss my father every day. What is your motivation for all of this? Seek the truth. People aren't guilty just because they get arrested. Sometimes mistakes are made. It's a very scary experience to realize that you are a product of all this stuff.